Prolin PLN. Fixed and variable axis guiding curves are general purpose finishing operations that work on many types of surfaces including those not forming a grid. Using a ball tool or spherical mill, these operations create the pattern directly on the cut area without projecting. The cut pattern is created by constant offsets from a single guide or morphing between multiple guides. You can concentrate on pattern creation separately from tool axis planning since they are nearly independent of each other. Variable axis operations support tilting through a 3D curve. The operations use holder avoidance and tool axis smoothing. Variable guiding curves was introduced in NX1201. Fixed axis guiding curves is new for NX1202. Here, we show the three cut pattern types to illustrate the differences. Constant offset is the first pattern type. You can select any curve as the guide. The step over follows the containment to create the cut pattern. You can even select an arbitrary curve that lies on the cut area as the guide curve. In this example, the guide curve is extended to the periphery of the cut area and the pattern is parallel to it on both sides. Coverage can be limited to the left side or the right side. Stepovers follow the periphery of the cut area. Region distance in non-cutting moves allows you to control the threshold between the non-cutting move cycle and the stepover. The racetrack around a guide pattern type uses concentric offsets to roll around the guide curve without extending it. This pattern is useful for repair work. The morphing pattern creates a streamlined type of path between two guide curves without the need to specify intermediate flow and cross curves or to project back to the cut area. The tool is always positioned tan to the surface. Morphing also allows you to select arbitrary guide curves on the cut area which are extended when necessary to contain the pattern. You may specify closed curves to define containment loops within the cut area. Although the tool tip is off the part, the tool contact point precisely follows the curves defining the cut area, which is the expectation of the finishing operation. This allows you to use the same curves for tools of different sizes and orientations. For variable guiding curves operations, if the tool cannot reach the specified curve due to a double contact condition, the system will generate a guide curve following the double contact trace. Although portions of the tool may show a collision while working on the pattern, since the operation has the tilt tool axis embedded, the final path is collision free with maximum coverage. Tilt tool axis also provides smoothing of the tool axis behavior based on the machine characteristics and allows limiting the tool orientation to the swiveling axis limits. Prolin PLM